What if your relationship was alive and dead at the same time? How could that be possible? This is what we're going to cover today in this video. We're going to talk a little bit about quantum physics and you'll see that there's a link between the Schrodinger's cat, <laughs> I'm struggling to say it, and relationship recovery. I'll try not to say Schrodinger too <laughs> frequently because otherwise it's going to be hard. You'll it makes sense after the jingle. I get my xback.com. Everyone deserves a second chance. So what is a Schrodinger cat? Schrodinger's cat. It's an experiment from Schrodinger, who is a Nobel Prize in physics. Um, and basically, to make a long story short, um, if you put a cat in a box with something that could kill that cat, when you close the lid of the box, the cat could either be dead or alive, and you don't know until you open the box. Okay, so the Schrodinger's cat is the, the concept um, that you have in uh, quantum physics where unless you see something at a very um, small and very small size, unless you can see a particle, you don't know if it's alive or dead, you don't know the position. I'm not an expert in quantum physics, but that's the Schrodinger's cat, okay? So what about your relationship? Your relationship is in that box. That's how you feel. It's alive. I know they have feelings for me, but at the same time, it's dead, right? They broke up with you. They have feelings, broke up with you when you touch. They show signs, they hug you, know, they hug you in a way that is not a bit more than friendly, or they send you things, or you can read between the lines that there's something, but they broke up with you. And you can't see, you don't know exactly, and so you want to open that box. Is it alive? Is it dead? Quick reference to seven amazing movie where he's saying this really famous quote, what's in that box? What's in the box? And opening this box, you're going to confront yourself to your ex. You want to know why. You know, you're watching this video, you're, you're trying to learn because you want information, you want answers. And you're going to fight. You're going to fight to get those answers. You're going to also deny the situation that you are single right now and your ex is single or with someone else. And by doing that, by confronting, by acting this way, you are actually killing the relationship. And so by opening the box, you're not learning to know, you're not <clears throat> discovering whether your relationship is alive or dead, you're actually killing the relationship. And your relationship is not in that box. And I understand not knowing is awful. You have so many questions, you know that your ex have some of those answers, but you can't get them. This box is not the Schrodinger's cat box, it's a Pandora box. As soon as you open it, that will release all the resentment, all the fights, all the anger. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you shouldn't try to understand. I'm a strong believer, that, and that's why I'm doing those videos, because I'm a strong believer that you'll feel better, you'll get more successful in a relationship if you understand things, if you learn about yourself, and if you grow as a result of that breakup. But if you open this box too quickly, if you open this box when there's still a lot of resentment, when you're still angry, when your ex is still angry at you, there's a risk that this box is actually a Pandora box and it's going to be really hard to close it. So there's a crucial timing. It's very important. Timing is really essential in relationship recovery. There's a timing where resentment needs to reduce first. Then and only at that time you can open the box, you can inquire, you can ask questions. Because the way, first of all, the way you'll ask questions will be uh, not as emotional as, you know, one day after a breakup. The way your ex will feel about answering those questions will also be very different. And so you'll come from a position where you're attacking and they're defending to a position of, okay, let's talk about this in a normal way. There's this as well, but you have also to understand that these sort of conversation, those answers, you will not get them right when you contact your ex. It's very important. It's at the end of a recovery process. 
it's very close to when the phase when you get back together you can you slowly start you know getting in touch with them with a very low emotional intensity uh, type of messages type of interaction you get to see them but you don't address you don't open the box yet it's really about the timing it's draining emotionally as we discussed you can't get those answers from your ex right now you probably get them sometimes you will never get them um, if you can't get back with them if they're actually you know because sometimes let's be realistic it's you can't get back with an ex um, but if you if you do the right things <clears throat> and you take your time and you respect the timing you'll get that answers but you have to understand that you will get you can get more clarity but it will be in in the future in the meantime you can't know everything and if you want to have answers if you want to um, understand the dynamic understand what has been said understand the root causes of the the relationship pick my brain i will you know i will be able to you know you'll be able to leverage um hundreds of cases i had in the past hundreds of people i've helped getting back with the ex or moving on or realize that actually they were fighting the wrong fight don't hesitate pick my brain there's a link in the description to uh, book a call with me a free call so we can discuss your situation i know you're listening to my tips you're watching my my videos perhaps it's not the first one you watch i'm pretty sure this one won't be very popular because of the title and the, <laughs> the keywords so the algorithm of youtube won't be <laughs> won't pick up this one but you know what can you do right now to feel less confused to really take action to really feel like okay i'm learning a lot but i'm still confused i still need answers so maybe i can provide those answers uh, give it a try i don't bite i'm really nice actually uh, you can ask my clients and i'd be more than happy to give you a bit of clarity will i give you all the answers in 15 minutes no it doesn't work like this but i will give you some guidance as well uh, sometimes in 15 minutes you can definitely change the whole dynamic and change the perspective on things and also from my point of view i love to meet with you guys um i know you <laughs> i'm part of your sometimes i'm part of your daily routine you see and hear me uh, quite frequently so i'll be more than happy to uh, have a chat with you and uh, discuss your situation other than that take care of yourself see you next time bye bye I get my ex back .com. Everyone deserves a second chance.